Hey guys, this is our second episode with our friend Jared Miller. In our first episode we did with him last week, he kind of went over all of our basic fundamentals. He got us in the prone shooting position, critiqued everything we did. He disliked a lot of things that he saw when I shot, so I learned a lot from that. And then we jumped over to a barricade and we ran through some stages there and he taught us some really good things on how to build kneeling positions off of obstacles and stuff like that. In today's video, we're, it's strictly gonna be all off tripods. Using tripods is something that can become very handy in hunting situations, so this one you're not gonna wanna miss. So stay tuned as Jared walks us through how he likes to run his tripod and how you can get a very accurate shot using a tripod. So right now I'm just like I'm looking at how hunched up you are. You're kind of you're having that really crouched to get. So it should be taller rifle, probably, right? Yeah. right? So, so I'm just gonna give you a little trick that I do. Okay. So set the rifle down again. Now yep. look at your target. You know where your target's at out there. Yep. Now hold 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 this up at the height that it needs to be. Okay. We yep. want to tighten this down. Okay. Rifle's gonna sit up up about yay high. Okay. So so line this up so it's just below that target and then drop the legs out to where they need to be. Yep. And that's with, with you sitting in a comfortable position where you're straight up not having to crunch into it. So right now, see how, see how angled you are off to the side? Yep. So we're oh, going to try and get yep. squared up if we can. And then and then see how this, this leg's just flopping out there? Bring this thing in to support, to support your elbow. Okay. A little better that time. But still, and th this is something that's going to show up under live fire. But the recoil impulse, see how the legs aren't, aren't square? Um, they're going to want to kick off to the side because they're, right. they're not aligned, right? So, would you, yep, like that? Exactly, yeah. Okay. I probably got full. Okay. So, do you. Can I grab that other tripod? So, say if you don't have a rear tripod, like. For if you do have to take a shot like this, which I've done quite a few times, I feel like my default is to either go like yep. this yep. or or like that. Is there? I, I, I would likely never do this. I, so this one is can, better. Can I get behind it? Because yeah. a lot of it's just figuring out where it works for you. Okay. But like I I might I might even use my knee. Gotcha. Yep. So remember how we talked about how the back just, supports a hand? Well, now you're just using your knee. Yep. And you, you could do it that way. It's just it's a touch low for me here. But see, I'm supporting, I'm riding, letting it run through the web of my hand. Okay. And my, I'm going skeletal straight to the ground through my heel. And then I'm able to get rock solid. I'm going to have a little bit of lateral movement potentially because I'm, I'm so narrow here. Right? Yeah. So there, there's, a, there's a lot of ways that you can address it. It's really finding what, what works for you. But if I can add some lateral st stability and then that, then, then my leg is giving me all that vertical. That's what I personally end up doing a lot of time. You'll see guys do all types of stuff on the on, on the front end. Some guys will will rest it on the control levers. You'll see guys go cross this way. I I, I personally don't do that too okay. much. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna run single tripod, I'm gonna use my body, a backpack, or I'm gonna grab the other tripod to use the tripod rear. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Like and see if that gets you to to where you need to be okay. for with your knee. Yeah, it's better. Scoot, scoot your hips back a little bit and get a little touch more square, and then try and bring the knee in. Okay. And yeah, that, there that's. There we go. How does that feel? I'm like bouncing something, but you're kind of fighting that leg. Yeah. yeah. If it needs to come up a little bit, I'll give you a little more because it looks, it feels like you're putting a little bit of forward pressure into it. That's actually pretty steady right there. Yeah, how stable are you? One tenth of wobble. Just a tenth solidly on the plate, though. Yep, cool. for sure. Okay. And then let's let's just play around with this. Yeah. <clears throat> this just as a test, and we we could live fire it to you. Okay. I'm just gonna check the yeah. height that this needs to be at. So here's, you never, and I'll, I'll demonstrate this, but you never death grip the tripod. Okay. okay. What I want is these, I want these three fingers holding the tripod and I want, I don't want, I don't ever want you to be hard on hard. Okay. I want, 
I want you to have a little bit of gap there. You're gonna run in the web of your hand again. Gotcha. You're gonna use these three fingers to support the tripod. So don't let the gun touch the tripod. Ideally not, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna just see, like it depends on the individual, but tell me when you're on the plate. I'm, I'm on it. Good, like death grip this thing pretty hard. And tell me like, do you see your pulse and do you see Oh yeah, problem. definitely. Okay. You can see it just okay. back in like a very... Now what, what happens is when guys are under pressure, camera guy, and they, they start getting nervous and they start getting tighter, everything gets tighter and tighter. And now they're seeing their pulse and their yeah. pulse is literally watching the reticles doing that. If you just loosen up now and everything just gets nice and stable. Yeah, I mean, it feels dead stable. Like, Again, you're not hard on hard. There's a recoil impulse is going to go straight back. You're not pinching it to the side. You don't want to be putting... Another thing I'll see people do, they'll, they'll bear down on the tripod and, and bury it into the dirt and it makes the everything totally stable. But if you're putting on, if you're locking it against the tripod and you're bearing down, recoil again with this, this whole conversation, recoil exploits pressure. Well, if you're putting all this downward pressure, if you're on gravel, dirt, and anything that can give way, the recoil impulse is gonna go like this. You're not gonna see the shot. You're potentially gonna miss the target. Gotcha. Cool. Do, do you want to do you want to live fire without the rear support and then with it or? Uh, sure. Yeah, I guess we'll try. It. Remember what we talked about? What if you're going to use your knee to support you, or what? What's going to yep. be best for you? Try to get square. There we go. Okay. Man, that bolt closes this. All right. I lost it. I didn't watch me. Did you see it? Yeah. It looked like you went straight on the right Yeah, there we go. We were kind of high on the mag. Like, we just, I'm going to be, I'm going to put you where I'd be. Okay. Okay, let's do another one of those. Just see if we could spot through the shot. And if, uh, if, it, if it's going a certain direction every time, let's figure out if we can adjust for that. Account for it. Did you see it? I did, yeah. I was like just right in highest center, I okay. believe. Feel pretty stable? Uh, yeah, bit, I just felt a lot better on that. A bit of float, though? There is float, for okay. sure. Let's try so, the tripod then. Yeah. Let's see how much better that feels. Remember, don't death grip it. Just yep. comfortably high and make sure all three legs are on the ground. When guys are death gripping, normally one of the legs comes off the ground and adds all types of wobble to it, left and right, up and down. Okay. How's that feel? Good. I, uh, I think I can't tell where I hit on the plate. I was able to see it, but it just, I couldn't. Just kind of tell which way it swung. Yeah. But, but, but it stayed in your field of view through yes. the shot. Yep. Awesome. Okay, I'll try one more of those, see if I can spot better. I think it's a, just a little oh, right, little right of center. Could nice. you tell, Jace? Yeah, you're low and right. Low and right. Last two shots are pretty much the same spot. Okay, a little low and right. Cool. Feel good though? Yeah, it feels steady. Oh. What's up, y'all? We're out here doing a little shooting today, and I uh, just wanted to let everybody know, big thanks to Brownells for sponsoring this series. They're the title sponsor. We really appreciate it. Everything that you've seen in this video series so far, from the guns, the components we use to, com uh, to make the guns, some bags, tripods, all the accessories we've been using, all came from Brownells. And we're doing a giveaway with Brownells, giving away a Howa 1500 barreled action, a chassis or a stock from Brownells, a Nosler gift card, and a Leupold Mark IV HD sweet scope. It's a cool giveaway. Go to the link in uh, the description and you can be shooting a rifle like we're shooting out here. So I'm gonna throw out another little thing that I, I didn't tell Marcus. Okay. 
a lot of times I want to give myself more room to operate here. And so what I'll end up doing oh, is gotcha. go to the second click in just on, on the back two. Okay. Okay. I'll leave that first, the first one down steep cause it's, we're trying to get some height there, yep. but that gives you more room to operate back here without you bumping the bike, the tripod. So here, so you're running, running that, that knee like a rear bag, right? Mm -hmm. And so one thing, some, maybe, maybe this thing wants it to be a little over. So you're, you're, you're straight in line. Cause it, there might, what might end up happening if that legs at an angle at all, it, it might, it might want to fall to the right, make okay. it hit left. Feels, I feel pretty dang solid. Okay. I feel like to just be a hair more comfortable though, it'd be helpful if everything was a up. touch higher. Yeah, let's do that. Higher. Let's just let's find out where that needs to be. Because yeah, if you're crunching into it, you're you're putting all this forward pressure yeah. into the gun that you may not want. <clears throat> How's that feel? Feels good dry fire a bit and we'll just talk about it see if you, how much wobble you have and if, if the reticle breaks and stays on the target my wobble is i don't know within, it's in the target it's, it's inside not, the target it's not coming off target okay so let's let's do that a little bit, and then we'll then we'll bring the tripod in and and see how stable we can get. Okay. Yeah, tell me. Better. Tell me when you're on target. Okay, I'm on target. Okay, now uh, go ahead, like really grip this tight, lock just just stay on the gun. Really grip, grip everything nice and tight. How much wall were you seeing? You seeing your pulse in there and it bouncing around? Yeah, I'm coming yeah. off of the okay, target. Now loosen up, loosen all this, nice and loose. Just just enough to support things. You're ha you're having control of the rifle, but you're not death gripping. Mm -hmm. it, but the it's a lot better. A lot better. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and let's dry fire a couple times. If the reticle moves in a certain direction, let me know. Anything center. almost feels like it kind of like drops a little lower. Okay, so that that might be you pushing up on this too okay. much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I yeah, was giving a little bit of pressure. Staying centered there. Yeah, a little better. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Better. So it's really that's all influence here. If you're gonna drive the rear of the rifle off of the tripod. Mm -hmm. It's very important not to put, it's the same natural point of aim discussion, don't put upward, downward, left and right. And the tighter that you lock things in there, the more pulse that you're gonna, you're, you'll see the reticle bouncing with it. And if right. you just loosen up, then everything will get really stable. How's that feel? Feel good. How much float do you have? Probably like two, three tenths. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's try the tripod and see what we get. You never want hard on hard. Yep, you're doing good there. Not too tight on things. How's that feel? That felt good too. And again, this is one of those situations, depending on the target size, you decide how much float's acceptable. Yeah. If it's a giant target, then you can deal with a little bit of float. If it's a tiny little target, well, then you figure out a closer way to get prone. Maybe. And a target this distance, 430 or 440, um, yeah. what's your per, um, preference like on power, zoom power? Man, I, I, I shoot a whole match on 12 power. 12? Yeah. What was that, like 14 or something? Oh, it was about 12. Yeah. Cool. I'll send a couple more.
Are you seeing those? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so my uh, reticle, I'm like, oh, shoot. I was like five mils off the left and like oh, two mils left. down. And down. Yeah. Pretty okay. pretty off target there. Okay. So we there there's something happening back here. You might be too tight. You're probably giving okay. it some up. Too much up. pressure. I would guess because you're going left and up, right? What which way is that? Which way would the buttstock need to go? To go this way, it'd yep. be going just following yeah. that leg up, right? Yeah. So I think that I think you're holding that too tight to that leg because it, if it's following that leg up, that's that's the direction your reticles going. Okay. Go. So your natural point of aim, you're gonna chase that a little bit if you're that tight there. And the difference in pressure from the shot to shot, it's going to be different every time, which means you're going to be, your group is going to be trending low left from where it should be. Gotcha. All right. Maybe I thought I was going pretty light, but I guess I was still squeezing. Whole I much. would just guess that that's what's happening there. This is dry fire, but yep. if we could see. What's it doing? Yeah, that there? almost, it was just like, obviously, just, much smaller yeah, scale, yeah. but still uh, a touch. Hair to low okay. and left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These yeah that was that one was better. Pretty so, much. I was like basically not even. I was just letting everything. Yep. That's float that's in really there. where you want to be. Just enough to stabilize the float but not putting pressures in it. And this is the best way, dry, dry fire is the best way. It doesn't cost you anything. And you get more in tune to the, the pressures that you're putting in the gun. You should always be kind of dialed in on that. You'll still hit the target a lot of the time, but if, if it's different from shot to shot, mm -hmm. you can't account for the difference in, in pressure in that group moving. If it's gonna move low left, but you don't know how much it's gonna move every time. So practicing here and ho and dry firing and breaking the trigger and that reticle staying exactly where you, where you broke it at tells you that your pressures are all dialed and your natural point of aim is perfect. Cool. I'll, I'll work on that. That's, that's good. Can you push that the the your heel out that way? Push the foot. There we go. What? But keep the knee up. There we go. That's it. Okay. Now see if we can run. Use that knee to support the rear hand. How's that feel? Mm, medium. It feels like mm -hmm. I, I'm, much? I'm, there's a little, if I just like. I think you might slide down the hill just a touch here. Just come down with me a little bit. Okay, right there. And then try and get back to that position. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, put it on the outside. There we go. That's what I want to see. I'm just so undo it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> If it doesn't feel awesome at all, we'll do something different. You just figure out everybody again, everybody's just shaped a little bit different, biomechanics are different. I mean <clears throat> feels like like I'm like free recoiling it. Like I don't feel okay. like I'm really You know what I mean? Yep. Like so, I can so get go, it. Go go back to cross legged and then put and then put your hand up here. And like okay. Shoot it like we're we're single bagging off of that tank trap over there, and see if you can get more stable that way. Remember, you're using your hand on. The oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see if you can get more stable that way. Yeah. Not so much. I feel like. Yeah, it's it's decently stable. Better. What's what's up? A little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it feels it, it feels pretty good. It, it's 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 never gonna feel awesome. There's a lot of other ways that we can get really stable back there. No, it actually feels it, really good. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Like that. So the trigger press. This this is for for you again. This this is a decision every time, depending on the target size and how much wobble you have, you're gonna make a decision whether or not the, it's an acceptable amount of wobble. Yeah. If it's giant target out there and this is an acceptable amount of wobble, then you, you can shoot it. If you need to get more stable, we can bring a backpack in, a fat bag in, a tripod in. Yeah, this, this seals actually like. How much floats there? A little bit, but I feel like I'm breaking on target. Like cool. I feel like I'm. It's staying on target there. 
Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. Cool. So let's let's bring the tripod in. You're gonna have to get this down to the ground here. Yeah. So you so guys are doing what I want to see this. The, these three fingers are gonna grip the tripod lightly. This is gonna be loose. Remember your your tendency to go tight as things, right? That's gonna hurt you, and we'll show yep. you that right now. Ideally, I want this running up like this. We're gonna run in the web of our hand. Okay. Okay. If you need to slide it forward to be in this area, do that. If you want move yes. the whole tripod forward, yeah. yeah. Make sure that you're not gripping too hard there. How much float do you have? None. Nice. Like hardly any. Nice. I love your intentional process in breathing. That's going to set your mind to, to start executing your shot. I want you to grip that tripod, stay on the gun, grip the tripod really tight and just look at the float. Yeah. See what happens now? They're just loosen everything. Just use it as support there. I'll get more stable. Feels pretty damn good. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Let's live fire. Okay. Where's your reticle? Uh, it went up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, definitely saw the impact, but like it oh. went up. Okay. For sure. Left. You hit a touch left. How much float do you have there? Um, I don't know. That one felt pretty good. Okay, let's let's put I the tripod in. I think I just in. probably let's just see how it, it feels with with this guy. I feel Remember, like... always get lined up on the target and then bring the the rear support tripod to where where you need it. Okay, so yep. Yeah. Don't, don't I just want you loose there? I don't yeah. want you gripping that thing. Just loose just to give you support. Just enough to stay with the wall. Did you see the shot? Is that high? No, sir. Low? Yeah. Yeah, just like low. Okay, all right. Was it good left and right though? It looked good left and right. Okay. So see, you, you've got a tendency yeah, to yeah, grab yeah. hold of yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's going to really affect recoil, especially when you put something behind there, it's going to run into that finger. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Is that low again? Um, I'll check, but I thought it was right. Are you seeing your shots? Yeah, I mean, I'm see. If I were to guess there, yep. it would have been just like dead on, low or high. Okay. I I would think low. Okay. Just right, Michael. Just right. Okay. Both of those last two were just right. Just right. Okay. Well, there we go. The elevation was perfect. Okay. I'm not holding any wind, but I feel like there's no wind. You're always going to be holding some amount of wind. I okay. don't. All right. I'll aim. Here. Go ahead. Just thinking back to our conversation about zero, if this gun is potentially walking, right? Yeah. As it warms up, we'll, we'll, we should put it back on the zero board and just confirm that. Was that left? Nope. Right? Left, center? I don't yeah, even I mean, know. You shot a half inch group and it's all done. Yeah, you see, I was holding right plate there. Oh, or holding, left plate. Oh, left plate, okay. Yeah, it could very well be that. But so how as just as far as your float and the recoil management, which way is the reticle going? It's going up. Okay, that's okay. But it feels like the float natural. and everything feel like cool. I've been watching it. Cool. I I obviously am not doing a good enough job knowing like exactly where yep. it hits. Yep. But that's a, that's a, that's that's your eyes learning what it's seen. Yeah. Right. That's a lot of rounds down range every year. Yeah. And your mind will start to. Uh, decipher I guess what what it's seeing down range but it takes a lot of rounds for that to start happening yep 
Okay. Cool. Yeah, I. Yeah. Cool. I definitely like the the rear support. That's yeah. Pretty sweet. It's rock solid. When when you guys you guys will see a lot of people at the matches running rear support. When you see their legs coming off the ground, you guys now see what happens is they're death gripping it, and they're also seeing the float. They're they're probably seeing the pulse happening in their reticle as well. And you know the answer to that is just to loosen up, right? Yeah. All right. We just learned a lot. Uh, I feel a lot better after that instruction. So nice. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Very much appreciate it. No problem. Um, had a good time out here. Shot long range and uh, dialed the stuff. curves in. Dialed the curve in. We yeah, yeah. I'm learning a lot of terms. I gotta like. Yeah. I need to like take notes. For sure. I have to reference the video. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, thank you. This I has think been you guys super... are set up for the for the match and and then for hunting season too. Just a little bit more detail on positional shooting and all that. I think we'll be good to go. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. No problem. Thank you, Jared. Thanks, guys.